We decided to take a trip inside the brain during a migraine, watching what happens to cause these often excruciating headaches. Once again, here's neurologist Dr. Gregory Esper, who is also a migraine sufferer. I get migraines. I was in residency when I started getting them. It's probably the lack of sleep, the stress, the poor diet that happens uh, when you're a resident. For me, the worst part about the migraine is I get moderate pain. I get probably seven, eight out of 10. Um, but the worst part for me is the nausea. Oh gosh, the nausea is like the worst. Nausea is the worst. And that feeling of just being totally drained, completely drained. Lifestyle is a huge part of migraine. Uh, you give up? Or what did you add? Well, I, uh, I gave up a lot of uh, processed foods. I don't drink red wine very often at all um, because red wine um, is a big trigger for migraines. Um, for s smoked almonds. Smoked almonds were a major trigger for me. I was like, why am I getting these migraines? And I had this huge you know, thing of smoked almonds, which were, I was snacking on and, you know, just because you don't get lunch sometimes and, you know, and I'm going, every time I have smoked almonds, I get a headache. Migraine is the most common type of headache. Um, it actually comes from the French, migrain, which is half the head. Migraines typically are unilateral, one-sided, affecting half the head. They have a very specific pain type. It's throbbing, pounding pain, pulsatile pain on the side of the head. It can be bilateral, both sided, but typically it's unilateral. And it has to be a moderate or a severe type of pain as opposed to a more mild pain. That's what the International Headache Society says migraines need to be. They can last between four and 72 hours in duration. Some can last longer, but it's unusual. And they have to be associated with certain things like nausea and vomiting, light and sound bothering the eyes and ears, triggers that may start them. That's a common migraine. What are the environmental triggers? We mentioned some before. Foods, drinks like alcohol, specific types of alcohol like red wine, lack of sleep, stress, those types of things all can cause the brain to react in a way that produces a migraine. There were two huge studies that looked at people that thought they had sinus or allergy type headaches. Over 90% of people in both of those studies actually had migraine or migraineous type headaches. The average time to diagnosis, 11 years. We believe that the trigger, the area that triggers migraine is probably somewhere in the hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus is a structure, small structure, but it basically regulates all the body's functions. And it sits in the very deep part of the brain called the diencephalon. And some of those areas get activated and they wind up causing a cascade that activates a system in the brain called the trigeminovascular system. Trigemino for trigeminal nerve, vascular because migraine is a vascular type of headache. The trigeminovascular system gets activated. The blood vessels dilate. The blood vessels on the meninges, which is the part of the head that experiences pain. Those blood vessels dilate on the meninges and inflammatory mediators leak out onto the meninges. What are the meninges innervated by? The trigeminal nerve. All of those inflammatory mediators are activating the trigeminal nerve. The impulses are going back into the brain. The trigeminal nerve is getting more and more excited and it causes the blood vessels to get more and more leaky and the pain becomes a vicious cycle. And so you have to shut down that vicious cycle by giving drugs that affect the blood vessels, by giving medications that attack the area in the brainstem where the trigeminovascular nerve is activated, trying to 
um, give medicines that work on serotonin, which is one of the uh, uh, neurotransmitters that's implicated in migraine. Research into the science of migraine is further unlocking the mystery. New targets have been revealed in the brain, and advanced therapies just recently available are providing relief for migraine sufferers.